I've been in the airport for five hours and then seven hours. Plane journey. Eight. I love my life. I oh, know it's seven. Yeah, this is the short way. I hope it crashes. Why would you say that? Really tastes like chicken. I got my cream, one cream from the derm. The derm. Tret Tretinoin. Yeah, the derm. I want to drive this oh, puppy. Oh yeah. Okay. This is great. This is the one I use at night, I believe. So I'll start this tonight. Let me drive the boat. My skin. I started using hyaluronic acid. I feel like I look a little bit glowier. No, I do. Look at your dull skin and look at mine. That's because this face has been through a lot. So has mine. I've had literally my whole face cut off. Have you? <laughs> no. Exactly. You're gonna have the most killer skincare routine when we live together. Why? Because you're gonna steal all my stuff. What? I wouldn't know what job your stuff does. Why would I take it if I don't know what it does? Why would I take it? I don't sound like that. Oh yeah! I'm a fucking American. <laughs> that, what kind of accent was that? Yeah! I'm from America. I'm a Put that in. Uh, keep it. You gotta know for the vlog, so I don't have. You make my editing life so hard. I have, but it's good memories. Yeah. In trouble? No. Brooke is telling me drama. What? Who's drama? I don't know. She's about to spill some tea. Brooke is my sister. Um. What was I just gonna she say? She got fairly hammered in Thanksgiving. I know. Yeah, she was having in on what? Thanksgiving. 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 Thanks, you. Thank you. Um, You're shit of a festival. We festival <laughs> celebration, whatever. Uh, we we were in there waiting for my prescription. You celebrate killing. Let me speak. You celebrate killing indigenous people. How do you feel about it? <sighs> See, this is this is one. You're so annoying. This is the perfect example of her temper tantrum, her anger issues. Well, you just always are there, like chirp, chirp, chirp. I'm trying to talk. I get given out to for not talking, and when I do talk, I get given out. Just to... don't talk over me. I'm trying. Wait, to wait, 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 wait. I'm so happy you're going home. So am I. Can't wait to block okay. you and everything. <laughs> Anyways, we were in there waiting for my prescription, and we were in the cereal aisle, and I said, "Let's play a game." If you had to pick any cereal out of here, what would you pick? And there was like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Reese's Puffs, Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles, and guess what he picks? Corn Flakes. Or vanilla and right? almond for Kellogg's. Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to speak. Vanilla and almond Kellogg's. Tell me, tell me when I'm allowed to speak. I'm like, what? I chose Captain Crunch Berries or Fruity or Cocoa Pebbles. I could never choose between the two. Mixing them is also really good. But I was like, what? Anyways, probably gonna head back, just like relax, maybe for a little while longer until we go. Do you want to get Chipotle? Yeah, I'm good. Or Starbucks? No, I'm good. Okay. So, yeah, and I had to like literally shove my shove my suitcase. Like it's literally so packed. I'm like, I don't understand why every single time I go somewhere. Well. Yeah, anyways, I won't get into that. I was just gonna ramble, but. Wait. Don't use name. You can edit it out. No, but it takes care of. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot to tell you what the dermatologist told me. Morning, I am using retinol, basically. And then nighttime is the tretinoin as much as I can handle it. And then I got hyaluronic acid serum. He didn't prescribe that to me. Um, I did that on my own. 
So I need your chloric we'll, acid syrup. We'll see what updates we have because I've just been like breaking out in like weird locations. Like I don't know, my skin hasn't been as good as it was when I was using my retinol and stuff. So that's why I wanted to get back on it. You know? No. And my hair needs a really good wash when I get home tonight. Okay. We're getting lit. What a crappy, crappy day. <clears throat> Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye, bitches. Catch you on the flip side. I also gave him my hoodie. It fits. It's a great hoodie, isn't it? Fuck Indiana, though. Monday morning. I just made my coffee. I'm actually testing out a product that was sent to me. It's actually really yummy. It's one of those mushroom coffees with like a bunch of healthy things added to it. Like there's cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi, shiitake, turkey tail, king trumpet, it's like stamina, focus, stress relief, immunity support, digestion, and anti-inflammation. It actually tastes pretty good. And I, is there caffeine in it? Like, is there actually coffee in it? Yeah, there is. Okay. Um, I just made it. You literally just mix it with hot water. I don't know. We'll see if I continue drinking it, but as of right now, it's actually really yummy. Mm, but yeah, we just, I didn't vlog it all yesterday because all we did was drive. I drove, well, we had to drive to Tali's house. She drove me up here and then dropped Callum off at the airport. He left yesterday, so now we're in the finals and like final projects grind, which is gonna suck. These next two weeks are gonna be so tragic, but it'll be worth it for my long month break. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, have a snack, run to the gym, and then I need a whole day of studying, but yeah. Tuesday. I look like I have been run over by a truck. Final season. Anyway, today, sorry, I didn't vlog like literally anything. I woke up early, had coffee, ran out the door, had exams literally all day long, meetings, and then I came home and I sat in bed, did a few more assignments, and then now it's like 5.30 or something, and I got some shoes in the mail, so I wanted to show you. And then I'm going to do a quick little 20-minute um, Pilates situation. And then shower and eat dinner, because I'm actually really hungry, but I want to get like my Pilates workout done before. Yeah. So, if you watched, I think it was the last vlogmas video when Calum and I went shopping and he found those New Balance shoes. Yeah, well I ordered them because for Black Friday they were like way cheap. So I got them from Amazon. They're not like the viral ones but I kind of like how, I don't know, simple and like chunky these ones are. The only issue is that like I have a really wide foot and I think I should have gone up half a size because I have like permanent bruises on my pinky toes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so they might squeeze my foot a little bit too much. But they're men's, so I'm like worried that if I were to go up size, they would be like clown shoes. But let's see here. I mean, they're cute. Take 
ignore the sock that I have on. Let's put on both. But I feel like I would also wear these to work out on like a lifting day. Because they're a nice like flat shoe. It says there's memory foam in them. Oh my god, they're actually so comfortable. It's unreal. Mm. Yes. Link these down below. Ignore my socks, sorry. But this is like the best purchase that I've made. And I think they're cute. Like, they're just a good, like, oh yeah casual sneaker and I feel like they'll just be good to have okay well those are my shoes I didn't show you what I got from Amazon either should I do that now let me round everything up hi we're in my closet I'm gonna do a little a little Amazon haul. Hopefully you can still hear me. Okay. So first thing I got, which I was so excited about, and I've already worn them a lot, is these cargo pants. There we go. I got them way too big, but like, I kind of like it. The next pair that I order, I'll get like a size or two down. I got them in a men's 30... 34 like I mean I way got way too big um if I could go back in time I would get a smaller size I might honestly like take them in a little bit or something but they do have a drawstring if they didn't have a drawstring they would fall right down um but I like how baggy the legs are which is why I wanted them big and I needed them long because I'm quite tall so I got them in like this khaki color. Love them. They're so awesome. And you can cinch the bottom so that they get like, they suck your suck. You know what I mean. And then I also got them in this color. It says black, but it is, it's a chocolate brown. I haven't worn these ones yet, but I can't wait to because I love the color. And I really want to get like a khaki color. I also got those in the same size. I got one of those like four piece sets. I wore one piece yesterday, so that's in the wash, but I got it in this like chocolate brown color, which I love. It's a very nice color. And then it came with, oh, never mind. I didn't wear it. I washed it. I forgot. The one shoulder one, which I absolutely love. It reminds me so much of the set active ones, but they're really actually good quality. Like they're thick not too like restricting and then it came with shorts and a pair of leggings just in the same thing leggings are not see-through they're like again super thick and stretchy sure you've seen these all around the place oh yeah how could i forget other favorite purchase which I've already worn like an astronomical amount. Of course, I had to pick these up. And I wanted them with like hard bottoms so that I can wear them like outside my apartment, like, you know, running an errand or something. Um, they're super comfortable. I got a 9.5 wide. I honestly should have gone down, but they were out of nines. So I just got the nine and a half, which is fine. Let's go into my bathroom. I had a few issues with delivery of like two items so I canceled it and I still have another item coming in the mail so I'll show you that. I'm so excited for that. You guys are going to die about that one. But I also picked up, I don't know why I don't just grab my tripod but that's called being lazy. Also seriously excuse my appearance, I need to like liven myself. I got the Olaplex bonding oil because I am thinning. I have no hair. Um, so if you have any recommendations for that, please let me know because I literally have 
two strands of hair and number one it's embarrassing but number two it's just makes me sad because I used to have pretty hair so I got this it smells divine which I'm like kind of obsessed with it already mmm it smells like oh, it smells like my mom when I was a kid mmm that like comforting feeling you know and then I also picked up this which I'm super excited to see I've used it a few times and I already really like it I'm like just seriously breaking out because my period is coming any day now um, so I got hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and I have been really liking it so far actually I've noticed a difference with like the glowiness of my skin which I need it because sometimes I just get a little dull and yeah I went to the dentist and they told me I need to get my wisdom teeth out um, that's fun she gave me a new toothbrush and flossing equipment which I'm so excited I had no cavities yay so that's amazing I'm also gonna give myself a haircut tonight because I'm psycho and I literally haven't gotten my hair cut by a professional um, maybe since I was 12 years old. That could be a reason why I'm thinning. No, but I need to chop off like an inch just to like start um, just to start my process of trying to get my hair healthy because I don't wear my hair naturally curly because it's like not the right thickness or anything so if I can fix that I would wear it curly so so bright but that's what we're gonna have to deal with right now um yeah I'm gonna do this little Pilates class and make dinner I'm applying to my one of my other grad programs on Thursday and I'm so nervous because I want to get in there so badly but not thinking of that. I spent like hours yesterday going through all of my memory cards making my Vlogmas like intro, which I'm so excited for you guys to see. At this point, you'll already see it um, when you watch this video, but I've just been really not in a great mood and not in the best of spirits. I think it all has to do with my time of the month, you know, like when you just feel like you're failing in every aspect of your life and uh, that like you're just not good enough in any way that's kind of how I've been feeling and it like doesn't help that I just feel like crummy and ugly like my fake tan is flaking off my skin is breaking out my dark circles are insane because I've been getting no sleep like studying and projects and grad school like we have been back to back to back and I know I haven't been eating enough which is another another topic for another time like food and working out and that whole like balancing act I have not been good at balance um I don't like for me um I've been in just like a really bad headspace when it comes to food and I'm trying to work on that and so I'm trying to post more on my food Instagram and like TikTok because that always helps me like recipe and meal ideas so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do like a mini vlogmas on those two accounts and post either a what I eat in a day or a recipe every day for December just to, I don't know, keep me eating, I guess. So yeah, I've been in um, like a really bad habit of skipping meals. I think just because I've always been a snacker, which isn't good because then it's like the amount I work out and stuff and like I shouldn't be skipping meals and I think it causes me to like bloat and hold on to like water weight and stuff. So then I feel chubbier and then I get in this like vicious cycle of restricting, which I know is a very touchy subject. Like I don't really wanna get into that too much. I can do that like in a separate video or something like another time. I just wanted to share what I'm, thinking so yeah and this literally happens every single time 
every year of college at the same time like it's always when the weather gets colder and like the semester really picks up is when I feel this way and like food gets rough and working out gets rough um and so it's so normal and I know it's coming it's just every year it still hits me like a ton of bricks and it's really hard for me to deal with and I'm trying to like separate like body image and like my worth like I'm still kind of in that mindset sometimes of like if I don't feel like I look good that day, my day is ruined. That sounds so bad when I say it out loud. Um, but I think sometimes that's also the reality of people who are super healthy and dedicated and work out a lot. Um, like I know a lot of people tell me all the time like, oh my God, I wish I had your motivation and like, I wish I could eat as healthy as you. And I'm like, sometimes it's not by choice. Sometimes it's because I'm scared to not work out or to not eat healthy like I wish I could go to McDonald's not really because I know that's not good for my insides like I do love healthy food but you know what I'm saying so that's why like today I was going to do a rest day but I'm like you know what I feel like I can do something and it's good to move my body anyway it helps me sleep so I'm just going to do a little 20 minute thing instead of forcing myself to do like a whole fiasco of a workout and then I'm going to have a nice shower wash my hair cut my hair put on comfies and make a delicious dinner. I'm so excited. And if I forgot anything from my Amazon haul, I'll show you tomorrow. I also, my retinol is coming in the mail, which I'm so excited about because that keeps my skin like tretinoin. It didn't dry me out at all like the first night when I used it, which is so good. I'm happy because sometimes those products are like too much for my skin and it like freaks out. I'm so exhausted. I'm just gonna get this workout over with and then make dinner because I'm so hungry. Also, look at this photo of me. Post it on my Instagram. Nothing has changed. I was so cute. And now I look drained, tired, stressed, overwhelmed. But it's all for good things. Like Sometimes when I, another tip also if you're in college and like second guessing everything and like why don't I just drop out. Um, what I do is I'll go on like indeed.com and look up jobs for like whatever, you know, job you're working towards, me a dietitian. And I'm like, oh my God, this job sounds so fun. Look how much money I can make. Like anything to me right now is a lot of money. And so I'm like, oh my God, like this is so exciting. And then I get super excited and then my, um, my motivation comes back. That's what I did the other night. And I was like, heck yeah, I got this. Like, let's go grad school. Let's go applications. We were going for it. And now I feel much better. Not much better. I don't actually. I can't wait to just lay in bed and do absolutely nothing. I'm going to do that. But I also still have these shoes on. And I love them so much. I'm going to link them for you guys. Because they're actually, like, they're way cheaper than the other ones. Again, ignore my sock. Like, sorry. But they're so comfortable, too. And now me and Callum can twin. <laughs> so I just put on these leggings and they're like actually amazing. Like now I see why, oops. Now I see why everybody wants these little workout sets. Like they are so, so comfortable. They're a little like flattening though, which is like, it's fine. But these are 10 out of 10 and they almost feel like soft inside which is like really nice for um winter because i'm in illinois so we get some rough winters